Hey, and welcome back to this series. On this show, I discuss a few songs that I love that, for whatever reason, I think you might not be familiar with. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about three bands and musicians with three very different levels of popularity. One group is just starting out, another is somebody that's definitely on the rise, and the last is already a very critically acclaimed indie musician. This is great songs you might not know. So first up, we'll be talking about the song BO2 Zombies by a band called Frat Mouse, and I have absolutely fallen in love with these guys recently. This is an up-and-coming band from LA that is making some pretty Midwestern-themed emo pop rock, and within that subgenre, there's a very specific feeling that I look for, and this band has it. This, for me at least, is the most relatable sort of sound and style within any genre of music. So for the emo pop rock that I listen to, here's my checklist. I just want to have fun, I don't want the group to take themselves too seriously, I want the lyrics to be dramatic, but I also want them to have a few ultra-specific references to their daily lives in there too, and when you put all of those things together, it makes for a listening experience that has me feeling like I'm just hanging out with my friends, or something like that. It feels authentic, like I'm at a basement show with all my closest pals. Fratmouse embodies that feeling, and even though I've only listened to them for a couple of months, I feel like I've known these guys forever. Their music hits me in the same sort of way as groups like Modern Baseball, Remo Drive, and a band we've discussed on this series before, Year Twins. The band just dropped their debut album Rat Pack, and it features BO2 Zombies, which they released as a single, and it's been one of my favorite songs of the last six months or so. When I talk about a sound that hits close to home, something that's authentic, something that makes me feel like I'm with all my friends, hearing the following line that's at the beginning of the song is an indescribable level of relatable for me. Yo, dude, you wanna play some zombies? It sounds dumb, but as soon as I heard the super familiar suggestion to play Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies, I knew I was gonna love the rest of the track. And like I said before, this band checks all the boxes on my list, but this specific song exceeds any and all expectations. The lead singer's delivery is moody and dramatic, and I absolutely love to mimic his inflections and whine out these lyrics about taking a nap on your glasses and f***ing them up, feeling scared and helpless about the future, and then stuff about a few jealousies and insecurities too. This is a great track from a band that I'm really excited to see grow. Go follow their socials, watch their stuff on YouTube, and check out the new album. Next up, we have the song Lightyear by Kyle Lux, and this is someone that I expect to really blow up in 2020. Kyle is an alternative R&B soul singer whose music gets me thinking of people like Blood Orange, maybe Miguel a little bit, but I'm kind of reaching here because I think he has the potential to really carve out his own unique original sound. He's got fantastic vocal control, he has a knack for writing lyrics that hit home and feel memorable, and he's not afraid to dabble in different subgenres. While a contemporary R&B seems to be his comfort zone, I can easily see him working with more alternative rock or gospel or maybe even some electronic stuff too. His voice and music screams versatility to me. I highly recommend checking out his 2019 album No Roof Access, which is chock full of quality tracks, and by the end of it you'll know why I'm so interested to see where this guy goes. From my perspective, the world is pretty much his oyster right now. Lightyear is one of my favorite tracks on the project, and for one, I am so impressed with the production on this thing. There's this mesmerizing, hazy melody that goes in and out of the instrumental that puts me in a trance, Kyle's vocals sound super crisp, there are little sound effects in the background that are strange, but they feel oddly perfect for the mood of this song, and in general, there is a lot going on here, but the song never loses focus. Kyle's delivery is a little teasing, a little sensual, but it's always a voice that is in charge. He knows what he wants. Specifically, this approach works wonders with the line, you can always call, but I'll never really be your hero. It's so great. Check out the song, download the album, and let me know what you think. You can always call, but I'll never really be your hero. 
last but not least, we have a cover of the Strokes classic song Someday by Julia Jacqueline. I don't have a whole lot to say about this one other than the fact that it's just nice, you know? I don't know anyone that doesn't like the original Someday, and Julia's version is so sweet and lovely, and it puts a completely new perspective of the song in my head. Covers are always interesting because sometimes it's a band playing a well-known song in pretty much the exact same way as the original, which can be fun, but it's not very mind-blowing. And then sometimes you get a cover that changes things up, and it feels blasphemous, and you wish it had never been done. But every now and then, you get a reimagining of the original, but it is completely welcome. It's a different take on something you already loved, and it's only adding to the lore of how that song sits in your head. It doesn't take anything away. Julia Jacqueline is one of the most promising up-and-comers in the indie pop rock scene right now. Her 2019 album Crushing is incredible, I highly recommend it, and so when a friend told me that she covered Someday on Triple J, I was so excited, and it did not let me down. She turns this nostalgic, fun song into a gorgeous lullaby of sorts. It's very serene, very calm, and her voice does wonders for these super iconic lines. Throw this on if you want to relax, and also if you have a playlist of beautiful music, this would fit in nicely. This cover is a dream, I think it's something that Mr. Casablancas would be proud of, and I highly recommend you check it out. Be sure to support all the musicians and songs that I mentioned, comment down below with anything you might want to hear in a future episode, and thanks for watching. Hey, thank you for watching that video. If you want to support the channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media at RenshawHS. You can buy my merch, support my Patreon, and thank you again. I'll see you soon.